cabin. What are you doing? Hey, uh, this is the bottom end of a fountain. That's the top end up there that I'm making for a gentleman back in New York State. And he wants to start getting the site ready. So he said, how far apart are those holes? How big is that thing? You know, how, big is, how big is all of this going to be? Because he wants to go out there and drill some holes and put in some anchors. So when this shows up, he can just set it right in place. So rather than sit here with a tape measure and try to measure everything out, you know, get all the dimensions just right, write them all down, draw out a sketch, nah, screw it. Make a pattern. So easy, it's so simple. And you wonder, okay, now where did that nice white clean piece of paper come from? I'll let you in on a little secret. Go to your newspaper where they print them. You know, go around back, go where the trucks come in and talk with one of the guys in the back back there because they always have little rolls. They have partial rolls. Too small to run a, you know, make a run of newspapers, but too big to throw away. You know, they might use it for something else. A lot of times they just give them the, like the Boy Scouts or the Girl Scouts to make patterns with. So that's where it came from. So let me stand this thing back up. And yeah, all you guys at home who just saw this thing go down and you heard the air, you heard the air escaping. Sure, it's an air over hydraulic car lift. Used to have the four arms that would pick up the car. Just take that mechanism off, put, my, put the big plate on there. Now I've got a table that goes up and down. Yes, I'm spoiled. And I also don't have to get on my knees. And then just take your red pencil. I like the red, it shows up nice. And you can just get all, all the sides marked on there. And real careful around the inside of the holes. So he knows exactly how big those holes are. I believe I drilled these out to three quarters because we were going to use a half inch or a five eighths anchor in them because he's going down in the rock with it. And don't forget, mark it. Front. <laughs> that always helps. That way he knows exactly how to orient it, put it down, mark his holes, drill his holes, put his anchors in. When this puppy shows up, just set it right in place. So I can just cut this out, throw it in an envelope, send it to him, and he'll be ready when it gets there. One other little tip, you know, something I'll make sure I mention to this gentleman is make sure you're exactly in the middle of the hole. Don't get off just a little. You know, even, even though we've got you know, a quarter of an inch to, of wiggle room in there, wouldn't take much to get an anchor all the way off and you know, get it where it won't go in the hole. And then you got to pound it over, you got to drill this out bigger, you know, you got a bigger mess on your hand. Always right center in the hole. And don't get one that's exactly the same size as the hole either. Always get one, you know, the next size down. That way you got a little wiggle room. You got a little, little oops room, as I call it. So let me cut this out and we'll throw it in an envelope and get it off to him and I can get back to work on this. And as soon as you leave here, don't forget to pop out to Facebook facebook.com slash Kevin Carone Studios. Like me out there. That way you keep up to date on what I'm doing because we post a lot of stuff out there on Facebook all the time. So I'll see y'all next time. And I normally just take my red pencil, you know, just like the red, it shows up great on the white and you go and... Okay, first you go sharpen the damn thing again.